you're coming from SM City, Manila like me when going to the Distilleria Museum of the Lintuancos, we will first pass by through the KKK Park. <laughs> After a few minutes of walking and you see the KKK Monument, for sure you are on the right track on going to the Distilleria. Of course, the walled city of Intramuros, where the Distilleria Museum is located, is on the other side, so we first need to pass through by the underpass. After going to the underpass, we are going to walk a little more before reaching the wall to the Intramuros. So once you see the word Intramuros, you know you are on the right historical area. So next, you need to pass by one of the universities, which is the Lyceum of the Philippines. The last landmark before reaching the museum is the sign by the Lyceum Museum, which says, this Tilaria Tentuaco Museum. Now, due to some unforeseen events, the audio of the video wasn't recorded properly, which resulted into a video that has no audio. But let's move on. So, here we have is the plaque of the Distillery Limtuaco Co. Incorporated. Did you know that this was founded in the year 1892 and the distilleria was only open to the public in the year 2018? So it wasn't really a museum beforehand but was a private house by the Limpuaco family. Now let's go inside the distilleria of the Limpuaco family and see what the wonders this historical museum in Intramuros has to offer to us. If you intend to visit the museum, so here are the price rates. So for students and senior citizens, the tickets are priced at 50 pesos and you just need to present a valid ID. The normal rate of the ticket is 100 pesos and if you want to go premium, premium means you can have a taste of some of their finest rums, so you have to pay for 200 pesos. processing the raw material which is the sugar cane. It is then crushed in order to collect the juice from the sugar cane. After obtaining the molasses, the process of fermentation is then done followed by the second distillation, a little bit of aging, and finally bottling. The place isn't just a museum but there's also a mini bar where you can order your drinks of course the drinks here are the products of the Luntuaco family of course Before proceeding, let us go back to where, or rather to who it all began. The Stilleria Limtuaco, established in the year 1852 during the Spanish colonization, was founded by Bonifacio Limtuaco, a Chinese merchant and martial arts expert. He was originally from Amoy in Qing, China, which is now known as Xiamen, China. Limtuaco set up small distillery in Nodo, Manila on Bandara Street. The distillery initially focused on selling Chinese herbal wine, which then later became popularly known as Siok Tong. As you can see, not only can wine be seen in the distillery of Limtuaco Museum, equipment that dates back to the early 1900s are also shown, such as the telephones, the triumph typewriter, which was used by the company in the 1960s, the case printing machine that was used in the 1970s. You can also see some of the maps produced by the company as seen from the engraving.
Miss Olivia Limpeau, the current owner of the Lemtuaco family. Miss Olivia dominates the world of rum and spirits in the Philippines ever since her father, Julius Limpe, stepped down in the year 2004. She is also known for her involvement in the creation of disinfectant alcohols and is also an authorized holder of the Sputnik V vaccine from Russia. Did you know that the history of the products by the Limtuaco family is well preserved? Here we can see the evolution of all their products. Here are the Philippine cold spirits which comprises of the mango rum, the vegan basi sugar cane wine, the dragon fire dragon fruit wine, a fave of mine. There's also the emildific cooking wine among others. Products dating from the Spanish colonization period are also seen and up to present showing the mastery of the Limtuacos in their craft in wine and rum making. So we can also see the evolution of the brandings of each of their products as preserved here. There's no doubt that the Limtuaco Company, a company that has been handled by five generations, continues to receive recognition both locally and internationally for their wondrous craft in wine and rum making.